Hey guys, welcome here. Let's play Chrono Cross. The last time we continued to make our way up Terra Tower, including a massive plot dump that involved Belthazar explaining how he's orchestrated pretty much everything we've done so far because he is the master of everything. And by the way, Harley was a, one of the dragons all along. Who knew? And we were told something about the Chrono Cross, Melody, Harmony, Healing, Sound, something or other. And then we hear the sound of these crystals, which also echoes the sound that the elements make when used in battle while equipped with the Chrono Cross. Once we make it up here, We have a green ball of goo that wants to return our trees. Give back our green forests. Robo worked on that already. You could equip somebody with the green plate for this fight. It's up to you. Like the one before it, you, this one can use the level uh, 7 summon on you if you let it get that far. But we don't need to. We're going to set up Eagle Eye first because this guy is green. We want to get green on the field now so that we can get it off as soon as possible. And now he's going to go into Infoscope. What this does when you use it is I think it shows you like HP levels or weaknesses or something. When the enemy does it, it does nothing because the enemy already knows all this stuff. <laughs> because it's programmed to know all this stuff. Not that it's going to exploit it all that much. But uh, we're going to get a few attacks in here. And then we're going to set up Strength and Surge now. We have access to the field, uh, like the full field thing. So we have access to yellow. Field. If you want to, you could bring a character with some magic stat who's yellow, which is like none of them. But you can bring a character here that's yellow, use yellow field with one character, or like, I guess, go magnify yellow field and then use the yellow summon one turn after another. And it only takes three turns and you can do it right after the enemy has its own attack. So it won't interrupt you and you'll nuke the fight in one go. Got strengthen. Oh, you don't have it. I put the wrong one on, or I didn't bother to check it. Well, nuts that. I guess uh, I don't have something to do even more damage with. It counters attacks with heal plus. As you notice with all of these guys, the yellow one uses capsules. This one uses heal plus. The red one uses tablets. They all use different things to heal themselves. Other than the summon, this guy can use Omega Green, which does lots of damage. Can also use things like Tornado, Carnivore, Green Field. Uh, I forgot to steal. That's unfortunate. How many of the green brooches do I have? I was supposed to steal that. I think I have access to green brooches at various other points, so it's not like I really care, but you can steal a green brooch from them. Magic. Some strength for you and some magic for you. My Surge has stalled his stats. He started off all right, got really, really good, and then balanced right off. I've seen Surge have like 70 strength by the end of the game. And we don't have that many more bosses to go. He's definitely not going to get there. It's unfortunate. And I can't load back an autosave. How many green brooches do I have? Okay, I've got uh, one of them, and you can steal additional ones from uh, Prey Mantis on Gaia's Naval if you need them. They're a rare steal, though. But I didn't use the green brooches at all in this playthrough, so I doubt I need them. But I just, anytime there's, you know, limited items or hard to get items, I like to get them when they're easy. I just forgot, and it's been way too long since I saved. Also, uh, what I just did off screen is I ran back down and fought uh, a bunch of enemies so I could get my mini stat up. Uh, 
my mini setups have been just dreadful lately. I think Surge might have gotten strength, and that was it. Everyone was getting, like, HP and defense or something. Like, well, I don't really need it. But... Yeah, so uh, I would recommend doing that. There aren't enough enemies to uh, get what you're going to need for a mini stat up before the next boss, because here's the save point. There are three bosses right away. You can choose the order of the first two. That must be the summit. Two beams coming from either side. Some kind of a ceiling device, huh? Well, here's a save point. I'm going to change my party. And I've brought Glenn into the party because Glenn is fantastic. Got uh, you set up. If you don't have dual power, power seals because you haven't found enough of them, I got really lucky. Uh, Dreamer's bandanas are still good. Uh, we got the Defender Plus here. This is a pretty good defensive item. It's got 12 built in to evade, 2 to magic defense, 3 to physical defense. So that's nice. This also boosts your evade by a butt ton. Uh, you could do like wing shoes, defender plus, maybe the other defender there and just boost it by a lot and have like one character actually kind of be an evade tank almost. I guess, maybe, maybe you should use one of the kids who can equip the, the weird, uh, some of the weird dresses. I'm guessing the uh, Stardust Cape is also one of those things. Do I have a character who can use it? I think, um... Sprig can use that stuff, can't she? Yeah. Oh, not this one. Oh, okay. Equip that one. Who can equip one of these high evade capes? Leah, maybe? Yeah, Stardust Cape. And that boosts your evasion by 24. Four. So I guess you could boost it up pretty good if you had a character with a lot of evade that could equip that and all the other stuff and have really high evade. I had someone mention that to me early on in the Let's Play because I've been talking about how I don't care for evade. You could probably find a good character to make use of that. Who's got the uh, best natural agility? Marcy would probably work best for that now that I look at all my characters. Holy crap, Mojo has a lot. I don't think he'd be able to use it, though. Yeah, it looks like uh, Mojo or Marcy. I don't know if the raw amount of difference that he has would make him a better choice, but uh, Marcy with an evade setup could be interesting. I'm not going to try it, but... It's an option if you're interested in trying something different. So yeah, there's also the uh, Dragon's Gauntlets. If you have some of those kicking around, I'm sure I do. Yeah, there's some of those. Those will be nice. Uh, power Seal, Sunglasses, basically just spreading the love around a little bit. And Power Seal with the Dragon's Glory. Iron Lancers over here. Spectral Sword over here. The Einlancer, actually, let's uh, take this off for a quick second. I think the Einlancer, yeah, the Einlancer is even better than the Spectral Sword. It's one of the few weapons in the entire game that's better than a rainbow weapon. It's fantastic. Go over some of my element setups. It hasn't really changed all that much. I haven't been showing it off, but uh, if you need to take a look, pause. Basically, you'll see the same stuff. Anti against my color, turn four and against my color, a whole bunch of debuffs and buffs, a whole bunch of debuffs and buffs with some healing. Everyone's got a purify, a recover all, a heal all, uh, revives, uh, some extra healing because why not? Someone is going to have Diminish and Magnify. Whoever your white innate character, in this case Surge, is going to have Holy Healing and Full Revival. Chrono Cross doesn't need to be on there until the final fight, so you don't have to have it on there. I'm just leaving it because why? It's not like I'm even using 99% of these elements anyway. 
Like, I got a holy healing element up here in Unicorn. I'm not going to use them. I just don't have any more Alternovas to put up here. Speaking of Alternovas, got Alternovas on each level and Saints at the very top. Saints is very, very useful. And the reason why I have Alternovas down a little bit is because this is element level 6. If I do two Fierce Attacks, then I can go straight into Alternova without having to do anything else. I don't have to put the Dreamer's Bandana or anything. Gets me right up there, and I'm good to go. Uh, Fargo is the utility player. He's, again, got the turn elements for and against his element. He's got anti-red, and I've given him the field colors. The yellow, the green, and the red. Uh, he specifically wants the green and the red ones. The yellow one probably doesn't matter at all, because I have no one going to use it. Uh, when we eventually fight the uh, blue one, I will be giving the blue field one to a different character because Fargo is blue and I would like to build him up, you know, and then blue field and then go right into his turn instead of him, you know, having to recover stamina. That would be dumb. More Magnified Diminish. He's got Vigora going. Cheer all up high in case I need a lot of healing all at once. And he finally got enough levels to equip Blue Whale. Len has a lot fewer element slots. Again, the turns, the anti, uh, more buffs, debuffs, healing, more healing, revive, purify. I'm not going to use any of these elements. I don't even really need them on there. But they're there so that I have options. Sonia, Genie. That's pretty much what we're going for here. You can go left or right first, it doesn't matter, but uh, you can't go straight. At least I don't think you can go straight. I'm going to double check that. I'm pretty sure it's all blocked off, that's what they were saying. Hmm? The only way up. So yeah, we can't do anything. Okay, fine. And you've got a bunch of dudes around here. I'm going to fight uh, one. And I'm just going to do that because I just pulled uh, Glenn into the party and he hasn't got his mini stat up. Here's a battle where you fight uh, four enemies. This would be a great fight to have Guile for. But if you don't have Guile... So I got a couple of attacks in. So we'll choose a different target. A couple more attacks in. And there we have Ultranova, even though it's the same. Actually, it might heal some of them. That might have been dumb. Okay, it didn't heal any of them. Nice. And then just have your other characters smack them around a little bit. With the enemies here with Prism equipment, really don't stand a chance and can't do any damage to you. Here we'll get the mini stat up for Glenn. Gets a little more strength, which is nice to see. And we'll leave the rest of these guys alone so I have enemies to fight before going to the other side, because as you might expect, we're going to find uh, guardians on both sides. A teleporter's one thing. You just look like you threw me. Oh, there's the black innate one. Hey, wait a minute. I got a white innate character. I'm going to slaughter him as long as I'm smart enough to put the black plate on. Because without that, we could be in trouble. I can run into you and not run into you. You have to press the X button for some reason. All right, again, you can get Mothership here, the level 7 summon. Uh, what else does this guy do? You can get a black brooch here. I, to be honest, don't. Do we have a black brooch? I know we've had Damon charms up till now. Let's uh, let's get that brooch before I forget again. Village, gimme, gimme, gimme! Don't give me the rare one because I already have that. There we go, black brooch. They're very nice more HP than the rest of them, 
and what else? You can do Hellbound, Gravity Blow, Gravitone, Hell Soul, Genius, Mothership, Freefall, Black Hole. Try and avoid that. Imbecile and Revenge. Revenge, what it does is it shifts whatever statuses are on the caster onto the target. So it's very rare that you can make use of that. When we fought the, um, oh God. On the save kid path, you drop down in Hydra Marshes and you fight that uh, cephalopod-like enemy that is going to eat Razzly. When you fall down, you are automatically inflict inflicted with Sprain. You could use Revenge in that fight to shift your statuses onto the boss. Same with the Dehydrate boss fought in the same spot later on in the game. And that's basically it. There's very few status effects I would want to throw onto a boss randomly. Omega Black! Starting off with the powerful stuff, are we? If that hits Surge, and he has no Black Plate, Surge dies! real fast. Uh, so yeah, Omega Bach is powerful. That's the only other thing that this guy can do. Plus, as you might expect, along with all the other ones, he has a way of healing. I'll let you try and figure out what it is before we actually get there. But Surge is white in age. This guy is black in age. Even without strengthen, 900. With strengthen, there you go. Did you figure it out? You get extra points if you figured it out. Not that they'll do you much, but we'll throw strength in on you again. And even more. And he's gone. So yeah, the uh, this is another one of those guys where the animation would glitch out in early versions of certain emulators. And a star level. We get strength. We get nothing. Is that even a level up at this point? Your best stat is resistances. You really need to get some better strength there, Fargo. And more strength for Glenn. Good. Good to see. And you get... Black hole? Where's my black field? The game is rude and negates you the ability of getting either black field or white field. Which kind of sucks. However, there is an alternative to this. And that alternative is called Vigora. Vigora stops your stamina from decreasing. It'll allow you to cast that on someone who has access to three low level elements. You can use it on more than just physical attacks. So you cast it on a character, use three black elements, switch over to your black innate character and cast the summon that way. So we got another black hole. Yay, we didn't need that. I am going to be fighting the guys on the way back here, and then we'll go challenge whoever is on the other side. Okay, haven't got it uh, that mini stat up yet, so let's go tech on the other side here and kill a few more of these guys. Here, there's a wind effect for some reason, and then uh, there's guardians on the sides there that'll force you into them if the wind forces you that way. Not that that really matters. We should be able to kill these guys pretty quickly, and hopefully this is all I need. You can heal them too? I lost my stamina for that? Video game, you suck. Alright, we'll nuke them with Ultranova, which is fine. Not enough. Now, this is why you want to nuke them right away and why Guile's so good, because he gets those two attacks in right away, and then you don't have to deal with, like, his 12 frickin' attacks every round when they have almost no HP left. 
Hey, there we go. Strength, strength, and strength. I like to see it. All right, I'm going to leave the rest of them until the way back. If I can, please let me move. Basically, you just have to avoid the, uh, the wind here, which isn't terribly difficult. And over we go. Tossed once again. And there's the white elemental one. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to go into. I wanted to equip something I should have equipped after the last fight and forgot. Uh, where is my prism? There it is. Prism mail. Don't need any uh, white in any, anything. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into here and go on somebody. And just throw on turn black. Not that we really need it, but there we go. And again, we are going to want to steal. So let's do that as well. Please don't hit Fargo. That'll work. And we put the uh, the armor on just in time. Man, you're slow, but you sure do get a lot of attacks in. All right, let's get our steel out of the way here. There we go. Get our white brooch. Get a few nice attacks in, and again, we're going to Eagle Eye Surge. <laughs> We're going to do a chip shot. We're going to turn Surge Black. Probably should have gave him the white plate. He does cast Magnify. He's got all the elements you would think that he would have. Oh, God, that's going to kill Surge. That's definitely going to kill Surge. Should have given him the white plate. I'm dumb. Well, there you go. If you don't set up properly, bad things happen. He lived? I am very surprised that he lived. And Magnify was in place too. That's nuts. He, he does exactly what you think. Magnify, Meteor Shower. Uh, for some reason, they listed Meteor Shower twice in the walkthrough. Photon Ray, Unicorn, Pointless. Holy Healing. They all have a way of healing. Meteorite, uh, Photon Beam, Holy Light, Ultranova. Anti-black, Magnegate, strong-minded. It's all the things you would expect them to have. Alright. Uh strengthen. That's a lot of damage. Already gets him into holy healing mode. And what else did we want to put on you here? We got strength and we got that. I got turned black. Might as well just go for the best healing item I can manage here. Pick him up a little bit. <laughs> and we'll defend so that we can get our stamina back so we're not fighting things the whole time. But yeah, like, as for speci uh, specific patterns, he starts early with Magnify, so just kind of be aware of that. You've got Fatigue on. Uh, you have Turn Black on, so yeah, let's uh, go to town. Did your Strength and Wear off already? You should be doing more than that. Eh, whatever. 
poke him again. Yeah, his uh, stamina refresh is a little weird now because... Uh, because fatigue's on there, but that's fine. Dash and Slash may be white, but it's still going to do a lot of damage because Master Mune and Strengthen, and the same thing happens. If you're a lot weaker than I am, like you're doing a challenge run or something like that, there's still ways of doing it. Like you could set up for a black summon if you wanted to. And we get Ultranova again. No white field. The game is rude that way. But yeah, there's like I've shown off plenty of ways. There's magical ways of defeating bosses. There's physical ways of defeating bosses. There's Master Mune and not caring, which is the easiest and the fastest. Um, lots of different things you can do to do tons of damage and nuke your way through any of these fights. But oops, that's not right. Oddly enough, though, we've fought all the elements except for blue. Why is blue the last one? I'm going to fight all these guys and I'll see you in a moment to find out. And for some reason, there's no mini stat up after that last fight. I had to have fought nearly 10 enemies on uh, the way, but no, I get nothing. Now that we've unlocked this, though, we go in and for some reason we fight the blue one last. Not sure why that is. Also, only the four base colors say anything. The the two other guys don't say anything at all. The, the white and the black one. Mother Sea Surfers, you must pay the price. Strange. Now, this guy sucks my nuts. This is the blue one. What, are, what, are, what was I complaining about earlier? What have we been stealing from all these other guys? Brooches? I love brooches. Give me a blue brooch. He doesn't give you a blue brooch. There's only one in the game, and it's from a key item, and you can't carry it over to New Game Plus at the only time when it would ever be useful. This guy sucks my nuts. Because he sucks my nuts, I am going to make him suffer. As you can see, I'm already making him suffer, and I haven't done anything yet. You don't need to bother to steal. He's blue innate. You already know what I'm doing. This guy does all the blue things. You can get frog prints here if you need it. He has Vigora. As you might expect, he's got all the blue elements. And he's just going to keep spamming things that don't matter. He can also heal himself, as you might expect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go strengthen on Surge. Chip shot for stamina. We're going to go strengthen on Glenn. No, I, yeah, he needs to have uh, stamina in order to do it. So one more chip shot. And I could set up other things. Sure, we'll turn red. I was going to use red field, but that works too. One more chip shot. Aw, really? I wanted to nuke him. Well, he's still going to get nuked. No pure red field, but, um, <laughs> yeah. He falls down just as easily. Sadly, no blue brooch. He suffers for it, and uh, X-Strike is absolutely abusive. I love it. And for defeating him, as you might expect, we are going to get star level. Everybody got strength and Glenn got magic. Don't really need him to have magic, but that's fine. We get blue field. That's the important bit.
we saw one of those that was a teleporter earlier. It looked like the uh, dragon emblem. I hope you paid attention to the order with which those colors were used. There is a teleporter there leading to the end. Should probably go and get prepped up and prepared. This is indeed the final dungeon. That's pretty much all the time we have for today. And I'll see you guys next time.